This episode of D News is brought to you by Harry's. Bathroom bacteria are gross, but they are not even the worst in the house. Are we gonna gross you out, internet? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Howdy friends, Trace here for D News. Bacteria are on everything. Your skin, the floor, they even live in the damn air. According to the journal Indoor Air, one person adds 37 million bacteria to a room every hour. We stir it up when we walk through the room, it falls off our skin, it's just, well, it's just everywhere. There's no escape. 90% of the cells on your body are germ cells, and that is completely normal. When you think bacteria and a house, most people would head right for the toilet. It has to be gross and bacteria infected, right? Wrong. In fact, toilets are often one of the cleaner places around simply because we think they're so gross and therefore we clean them so much. In reality, according to research from the Hygiene Council, which is funded by Lysol, they found the kitchen drain, the garbage can, the kitchen table, and a home phone all contain more bacteria than a toilet seat. A study in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found that your shower head incubates enough bacteria to create biofilm, which is literally a film of bacterial goo. It's not enough to infect you with anything, but it's definitely gross. Another study from Texas A&M found 26% of bathtubs contain Staphylococcus, or MRSA, and all the Whirlpool tubs they tested contained fecal bacteria. So enjoy that. Maybe they should just call them Whirlpoop tubs, right? Guys. <laughs> and although you might like it hot, that hot water is not burning the bacteria. You're just spreading them around. You'd have to make the water hotter than your skin can handle to actually kill bacteria with hot water. Hot water on your dishes and your hands doesn't clean anything, but when paired with detergent, it does help loosen dirt and oil. The hot water also dries faster, which is good, because water on things is what encourages bacterial growth. Basically, anywhere that gets wet and isn't properly dried and cleaned will grow our little microscopic friends. And that includes things like the bathroom and the kitchen sink. Seriously, that hygiene council study found that the kitchen sink has almost 70 times the bacteria growth of a child's training toilet. I know it's a weird comparison. It was a weird study. In separate studies, TV remotes, computer keyboards, and salt and pepper shakers were all studied and found to be covered in bacteria. A study from 1975 coined the amazing term toilet plume for the bacteria and fecal material spewed out of an unlidded commode when it's flushed. But a follow-up study last year in the American Journal for Infection Control found no evidence of toilet plume infection. But let's keep our toothbrushes in cabinets and drawers just to be safe, okay? Researchers exploring the spread of infectious diseases indoors caution that any implement that comes in contact with your body will also contain bacteria. We are covered in it, remember? So that means makeup, loofahs, bags like purses, cell phones, which are disgusting disgusting, Ugh. and so on and so forth. If it comes in contact with blood, like a razor, cuticle cutter, nail clipper, toothbrush, sometimes your gums bleed, then you have to be extra careful because then we're talking about putting bacteria and viruses right into your bloodstream. Basically, bacteria-like places that are damp. And when razors and toothbrushes are used again and again and then left damp after every use, they become breeding grounds for bacteria. With the razor, you can just change it. Bacteria on a razor can cause folliculitis or an infection of the hair follicles by that bacteria. It can get pretty serious. So how do you avoid this bacteria? Soak all surfaces in bleach and bathe your toothbrushes and razors in UV light? Sure but more practically, you can't avoid it. Bacteria are a normal part of life. You are the cause of a lot of the bacteria yourself, remember. Your mouth, your face, your body, and your hands are always covered in it. So just keep calm and know that most will cause no issues with you whatsoever and clean, dry, and replace things regularly, keeping in mind bacteria is growing on everything. Everything. How often do you replace your toothbrush? Your razor? Your loofah? Your shower curtain? Tell us in the comments, and if you want new razors for less, try Harry's. Harry's was started by two guys who thought paying a crap ton for crap blades was a horrible experience. They bought a German razor factory, and they made the experience of getting your razors cheaper and classier. I love the packaging, and the blades were affordable and nicely sharp. If you want to try them and support the show, go to harrys.com and use the promo code DNEWS to save $5 off your first purchase. You can order them right online and ship them to your door. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.